In the previous video, we looked at how to create the sub-program to cut this G18 arc all the way across our 6-inch part. Now I want to adapt that sub-program to work for the roughing. So not only will it have to cut across, it'll also have to step down. And we'll have to calculate how much to step down. So first, I'm just going to put an M30 here so we're only simulating the roughing and we can double check it. Then next, I'm going to create a new sub-program. I'm going to call it M98P1900. And we'll run it once, make sure it works, and then we'll figure out how many times to step down. Currently our tool tip is at Z0 here. And remember, it's 600 thou off of the part. We've just continued this arc 600 thou each way. So when we come down, we don't actually touch the part. and We won't engage it till we start the G18 arc across. In my sub-program 1900, I want it to step down, and I'll repeat that. Also within this sub-program, I'll need to call this sub-program. And that's known as nesting. But first, let's start our sub-program here. So I'm going to put 01900. I'll add a comment. But this is the rough cut step down. And I'm going to need to figure out, well, how many step downs do I want? Well, from Z0 to our final depth is 1.2056. This is our finish tool. And next, I should determine how much material I want this tool to cut. To make it easy, I'm going to have it cut this 5.5 thou. So I want a rough to a depth of 1.02. First thing I'm going to do then is incrementally I'm going to tell it to feed down 50 thou. And I want to go back to my main program and here I am in the feed rate. So when I come here this will also be the feed rate. And then once it's fed down that 50 thou I want it to run this sub program right here. So I'm going to call M98P 2000 and I already know I need to repeat that 121 times to step across and I'm going to add my M99 so let's refresh that and if we have a look that looks good if we look at it from the ZX plane we can see it starts at Z minus 50 thou and it's not cutting much we might want to start deeper because yes what we're about to do will cut a lot of air but for now we're going to keep it simple get this working and then as we get more complex with our sub-programs, we'll know how to straighten this out. So I'm going to go back to the isometric view. And I know that this sub-program called once works. Now I need to repeat it. So I'm going to pull up the calculator. I'll just clear what's here. And it has a total distance of 1.2. And I'm going to divide that by the 50,000 step. And that shows me I need to step down 24 times. So up here where I call this sub-program, I'm going to put the repeat code of 24 times. Now, what do I need to do to the sub to make it work properly? Well, we have to pay attention. When we're done the sub program, our tool's over here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to move up that 50 thou I just cut, and I want to wrap it back to the start. So again, I'm going to make sure I'm in incremental. Let's say G91. I'm going to go Z up 50 thou. I'm going to move back to my starting X and Y coordinate. I'll just copy them from here. I'm going to move and wrap it in absolute coordinate system to this location. And then I'm going to feed back down to my previous depth of cut. And the subprogram will repeat. So it's at the start position. It's back at the depth it was at. First thing it'll do is feed to a new depth of cut. And then cut all these arcs. So let's see if that works. We'll have a quick look at it. Here we can see it's stepping down. And again, let's look at our... ZX view and we want to double check this last arc here so I'll select it and I can see it started at Z negative 1.2 that's what I want it that will leave the 5 thou and 6 tenths for the finished tool the other thing we can see here it shows us what the I and K value would be for this GO2 arc which is our last arc and we can see that over here here's our I and here's our K component so I'll close this and when we call a sub-program from a sub-program, that's called nesting. Typical Fanuc machines can nest a sub-program up to 99 times. So there's lots of room to call a sub-program from a sub-program, etc.